Hi, my name is Michael Green. I'm an assistant professor in the Seaver Autism Center for Research and Treatment at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Uh, our work is focused on um, using genetic and genomic tools together with cellular neuroscience methods to understand autism and genes that increase risk for autism. A big focus of our work is also dedicated towards dissecting the immunogenetics of autism and rare developmental disorders. And so this work is really uh, founded through large scale genetic screenings of thousands of individuals where we can produce lists of genes that if they carry rare mutations, they increase risk of autism. Genes towards the top of this list, if you look broadly of where they're acting and functioning, you see that they're expressed in the brain, specifically during fetal brain development across many different cell types. But if you back out a little bit further and you look across all of the different cells and tissues in the human body, you see that a subset of them are widely expressed um, and highly expressed in other non-neuronal and non-brain tissues, specifically the immune system and subsets of immune cells. So a good example is a FOXP1. So FOXP1 is a gene that is the top five risk gene for autism. It um, is a gene that's expressed in the brain, but also highly expressed in the T cells and B cells in the immune system. And so what our work is doing is really kind of uniting these complementary but very currently distinct fields of neuroscience and immunology and providing a bridge between the two by leveraging more immunogenetic and immunogenomic tools to understand immune function and immune, res and immune responsivity in individuals with these rare developmental disorders and how we can use these findings to develop new therapeutic approaches.